My name is Jenna Crosby, and I was born in Seoul, Korea. I was adopted when I was three years old. We eventually moved down to Texas, where I call Austin my hometown. After graduating from college, I moved to New York and realized that I really loved photography and decided to open up my own agency where I represent photographers and now directors and composers. How come your story is more exciting than mine? <laughs> my name is Ernesto Qualitza, born in Italy, family uh, immigrated to the Detroit area when I was six. I now uh, manage a uh, New York photographer and uh, couldn't be happier. We actually both came to New York at roughly the same time. Personally, I've always had a philosophy that there's no such thing as fate and that we're at the helm of our own existence and I'm very firm about this philosophical belief. Ernesto thinks he's the captain of his own ship, but I'm always proving to him that it's not and there is a reason why we met. He lived right above Mud Cafe and for some reason that little cafe brought me my first job and brought me my future husband and I find that a very significant place for us to have met. And he had come up to me and said, hey, I know who you are. And I was like, no, you don't, because I'm just thinking I'm very protective of myself and New York men. And I said... Thanks. <laughs> Is that what I was? A and New York I said, man? no, you don't. And he was like, yes, I do. You work in the same building I do, and I've seen you in the elevator, and you have great shoes. And so from there, I said, oh, you do know who I am, because I pride myself in my amazing high heel shoe collection. And from there, we exchanged numbers, and we became friends. We were friends for a while, yeah. and then we started dating, but still, we were both very on guard and very attracted to each other, not only from a physical yeah. standpoint, but also an, a, an emotional and, fr and friendship uh, and way. And it was New York Fashion Week, and he said, hey, do you want to be my arm candy for this week? I was incredibly impressed by her and thought, wow, I mean, this girl is amazing. They were best friends, and... Yeah. and the friendship spawned a romance that now is a best friendship with romance, so you can really not ask for more than that. It's just something in me makes me think that, you know, we were destined to meet each other.